Today's theme in our Advent read is repentance and being saved by God's grace. It's very appropriate that the reading today was about a man who gave a great banquet and invited everyone to come. I don't know how many people would refuse to go to a dinner if you're invited, especially the dinner of a very wealthy person and he invites you to his home to go and eat. Uh, but in today's gospel, the people that were invited all made excuses. One bought land, he had to go see his land. One bought it in a car, he had to go drive it. One just got married, he could feed his wife. It reminds us of all the excuses that we make because we're all invited to a great banquet every Sunday, every liturgy. This very wealthy man, God, the God man, offers his body and blood, which is a free gift and is a great gift and is the greatest gift and is free. And we make excuses. Well, I'm busy. Sunday's the only morning I get to sleep. And I know I'm preaching to the choir because you guys are always here. But it's said in the scripture that the house should be filled with people who were invited. Now I know we're probably close to capacity for COVID, but if it weren't COVID, we still wouldn't have more of this. This house should be filled. Standing alone, as a matter of fact, we probably should have even another church to be able to accommodate all the people that should be coming. And yet, people find excuses not to come. It's, it's sad. It's sad. And I don't, I don't berate people because I was one of them at one time who made excuses not to come. But you see, the Lord has a, has a wonderful sense of humor. He lets us, you know those games where you, you hit the ball with the, the, the elastic? You hit it, it goes up far and it comes back and you keep hitting it. I don't know which ball. Not big ball, no. It's not an elastic band that you hit it with the paddle. Well, that's what the Lord does to us. He lets us stretch out so far and then boom! <laughs> it's a good thing you have your mask on. Come blow it up. Come over here. We're going to light some candles. I want you to light this one. Come on, Andre. Good job. And that one. Both of you are going to light it. Don't burn yourself. And that one. And this one. And I'm ready to go over here. Light this one. 
and like this with the three.
believe, which is dedicated to the body and blood of Christ. And then the Christmas candle in the middle, the white candle, will be lit on Christmas Eve. And that will be the completion of that Advent brief, that Christ has come, and He illumines all men. He illumines all of us. Amen.